This AI mind map tools don't just answer questions for you. They think outside of the box and I have tested them all, so you don't have to. Hi everyone, I'm Matt and today I'm going to review the best free AI mind map tools available in 2025. This is not a sponsored video, everything is based on my own personal testing and I'm going to give the mind mapping tools the same open-ended prompt so then I can judge them by how clever the AI is, how creative it is, how generous the free plan is, and then how easy it is to export and share your mind maps with your colleagues. If you don't want to see all the reviews one by one, then just skip to the end where I talk about the decision tree so you will know exactly which mind map you need for whatever you're doing. So first one is Whimsical. All the links are in the description down below. Whimsical will give you a nice solid answer, but it's not very creative. However, it does give you 100 free AI mind maps, which is pretty generous. The next one up is Mapify, which has a better AI model than Whimsical. It gives you much more information here, much more in-depth, much more creative. Four out of five stars, and it gives you 53 mind maps for free, but you do have to download the extension. Then we have Gitmind, and Gitmind blew my mind away. It's brilliant. So it gave me so much information, and what I enjoyed the most is that it gave me an example everywhere, right? So wherever I look here, there you go. Use this software or use that. It's really, really useful, very practical. The only problem with Gitmind is that it will only give you three mind maps for free. So it's very limited, and this is the one I would consider paying for because it's so good, and the prices start from $6 a month um, if you subscribe for a whole year. And we have Ponder AI, and Ponder AI, surprisingly, is the best all-rounder. Four out of five stars for the AI. It's actually very creative, gives you a lot of answers, a lot of food for thought, um, and you can create 40 mind maps for free every day, which is incredibly generous. 40 AI actions for free every day. Then we have MyLens AI, which is not as good on the AI side and it's not that good on the free plan as well, but it does create a very nice looking pretty mind maps. So if you want to create something for a presentation that needs to look neat and pretty, then MyLens AI is the one to go for. If you're working with a large team, then Miro is what you should go for. The AI is fairly limited, the free plan is fairly limited, but you can share it with as many colleagues as you need to, and you can work all together on it at the same time. So it's definitely the best for teams. So this is now the decision tree. Gitmind has definitely the best AI. It blew my mind away, and it's also the one I would consider paying for. Mapify and Whimsical, two good rounders, but Ponder AI is definitely the best all rounder. Hands down, brilliant AI, and a really, really generous free tier plan. MyLens AI will give you the prettiest mind maps if you're looking to create a nice, good looking slide deck. And then Miro AI is the best for sharing with your colleagues. It's the best for teams. If you found this video useful, consider subscribing and also watching my next video next week, which is going to be about AI reading tools. So if you struggle with reading papers, if it's taking you too much time, and you want to extract the most important information quickly, then this is going to be the video for you. And let me know down in the comments which AI platform, which mind mapping tool you use, or if you have any issues, and I will reply to all of your comments.